Hello guys and welcome back to the Royalist Chess Club and I hope you guys are doing extremely fine. In the previous video what we saw was how Nihal Sadi played uh, amazing tactics to save its game from losing. This video also features one of the Nihal Sadi's game and this time he actually played up a brilliant to win the game. So now in this video uh, this uh, black is Nihal Sadi, white is Newell Studer. And this game was played in recently 2021 in Switzerland when he has eventually won the tournament and this game was one of the examples why he was in the top form. So now we see the situation, let's assess the situation. Black has this very weak square which is the H3G to H3 and uh, somehow you can say okay white has this uh, right square bishop to attack or uh, defend it and black has this white square bishop to defend it. So somehow you want to get that uh, white square bishop out. What Nihasin played was uh, rook captures on c6, bishop captures c6 and queen captures c6. Now you might be asking me now what's the use of it, why you just give up a rook for a bishop. So now let's analyze the situation. You have a queen who is aiming very well at the weaknesses of the center. The bishop is there, you have a pass pawn and now the attack that uh, this bishop and queen pair used to make on the b cap 7 square is no longer safe and also you are eliminating the c6 pawn which is also possible so on and on you are exchanged down but okay you should be able to play this and eventually this is still a drawing position it's not like okay you can win or you can lose but this is a draw position now uh, here what Studer played was uh, rook c1 which uh, turned out to be a blunder yeah, it seems quite natural, I know that, but it is a problem. Yeah, the best move for Studer could have been just play queen b5, uh, forcing an exchange kind of thing. Okay, because uh, you have to go back or you have to go over here to stay contact with the rook. So if you take, uh, like this, assume if it takes, takes, and you can exchange down, but uh, at some point of a time, uh, black has to, white has to give up one of his work to stop promoting. And uh, this game should end, should end it in a draw. Uh, but thanks for so, you know, Studer played Rook C1. Now, after this move, what Nihal Sarin just played, Studer eventually resigned. So now it's Black to move. Spot the best move for Black. Well, well, if you have spotted Rook uh, Bishop to F1. Well, that's you are doing extremely great now after this position uh, you might just see okay those were not spotted and they explained it but after this move studio just designed now let's see the reasons why he designed you actually have two options like take with the king or take with the bishop or don't take it it helps you so you have basically have three options take with the rook, take with the king or just drop it i don't want to take it and do something else but now let's see the issue. First option, it's not taken. It. Let's play something else. Let's just play something like h4. But there is a problem. There is a mate over here. So it will just uh, he will just checkmate me. Okay, not working. So I have to take it. I'm gonna take with the rook, or I'm gonna take with the king. Now I see what here is. Now this queen is undefended. Yeah, it's only be defended by the rook. So now if my rook moves over here. That's if I take, okay, then I will just give this check. I will give away one, my, one more piece of mine. So, let has to take a packet and I will just take the queen and I'm winning. Now, there's no way you can stop this. Great pass pawns. Well, no, no, double you a lot of and This is just completely winning. Okay, so now I'm left with the only option, which is okay, let's just if I take the queen, then there is an instant mate on h1. Uh, so after this, after calculating all the possible aspects, Tudor eventually resigned because he knew there is, there is no such way to escape it. Uh, yet the only one uh, to, if he wanted to continue the game is he just take it and play this and this, and then you take the queen. And now the two, these two pawns are very difficult to stop because this pawn is very weak. B2 pawn is very weak. Um, just play h6 and make sure that there is no more. Uh, back rank issues and now give this check as well check is also coming so on and all it's a very difficult position to assess for the white not win it and especially at the grandmaster level uh, it's 
pain in possible to do this position okay so i, I hope you guys uh, like my video and uh, stay tuned for more coming up thank you so much